What's going on you guys? So I have another Dale Inspiron 3880. Gonna be uh, upgrades. You're gonna move the side cover panel. You're gonna slide it to the left. So what we got to do is uh, remove the fan shroud here, the plastic piece. And basically guys, uh, what I'm gonna have to do that is uh, I will be adding a rear system fan. Also, I changed out the fan. You see the fan? It's actually going, the airflow is going that way, not this way. Because when you when I got the computer, actually the fan is going that way. Airflow, so going this way, because I'm gonna remove this plastic fan shroud and we're gonna install the 80, 80 millimeter fan, so be the airflow, because the video card requires, uh, it's gonna be running a lot hotter, especially it's got a, also our three, three and a half inch, three point, like three and a half inch, see the hard drive here? And there's uh, also solar state drive here installed here. And basically when the fans, the airflow is going this way, it's gonna cool down the SSD and also the VRMs here. You see right here, it has no heatsink at all here. You see that right there? And here on the top also. So what I'll do is I'll remove the RAM. It's got uh, eight gigs, but they, they you actually go up to two, uh, Eight gig per. It's got only eight one stick eight gigs, but I'll, I'm gonna install the sixteen because this is the single channel. It's gonna be way too slow. And guys, I'll be using the uh, crucial. This is DDR four. And the only way you're gonna install, like you see right here, uh, like you have to match the lines here in the middle. And be the last stick. And I'll put guys uh, the all the parts I use uh, on description. You guys can buy them on through Amazon if you want. So what I'll do is, guys, I'm gonna install the rear system fan. And to do that, I'll just have to go like this on the rear side. So the only fan I have, it's running actually four pin Molex. You see that? So you have to buy this cable. Uh, it's four pin Molex to SATA because this, this this power supply doesn't have that. So so what I what else I did was I switched out because it's gonna be the problem is it's gonna be running very loud because basically what it's doing is you see right here it's using L just actually. Uh, yellow, okay, black is a negative and the uh, yellow is a positive, but it's running, uh, yellow is a 12 volt. And what I need to do is I need to switch it out to 5 volt. To do that, uh, you have to use this pin Molex remover. I think they sell this on Amazon, because like, I got this like a long time ago, like in 2007. That's a long time ago. So what I, what you have to do is, uh, we, you're going to plug this in like this. And what you can remove the wire, switched out the fan here like this. I'm gonna show you guys. Because it's what it, what I what I did was I switched it out. You have to remove it. See the polyx remove like this comes in and it comes out. And so what I'm gonna do is unplug it back in. If you can't get that tool, then you just have to use uh, pliers and cut it. And switch the uh, the wire from the red one, like right here. See this yellow line going 12 volt. The fan is going from 12 volt. You're gonna switch it to yellow to the red wire. Going to you want to be running 5 volt, so the fan will be running like very quiet because it's gonna be way too loud. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the screws. Uh, you also have to buy them. Through, they sell them on Amazon. I just have to use a uh, Phillips head. If you only have two screws, it's fine. Just all you need, but I recommend going four. Because all you need is just one here in the corner and one in the top right corner here, left and right in the bottom. Just like that, like a cross. So 
So we've got two's installed, then we install another one the right here in the top and one in the bottom. So that's installed. Now I'm gonna switch the other side, plug it in directly to And what I have to do is I'm gonna have to use a wire, wire ties, get this like this. Cause basically it's not gonna hold. So I've got some wire ties here. So guys, this system has uh, basically a 200 watt power supply in here. And basically it's pretty low. Uh, if you're gonna install like a GTX 1650 or a GTX 1050 Ti, you have to upgrade the power supply. But I'm gonna install uh, well, either GT 1030 or you can go RX 550 if you want for this power supply if you don't want to upgrade. But the fan you have to install it when you install the video car, you have to install the rear system fan. Because it's very critical, it's just basically no airflow. Because basically it's gonna have a high fail rate because basically it's just a uh, no fan and no fan in the front, no in the back, and it's gonna be running really hot. So, I get another wire tie here, like this. Okay, that's installed. And I just have to use, uh, got the, the wire ties, the pliers. And now what I'll do guys is I'm gonna upgrade uh, so SSD. You see that small one got in here? It's gonna be too slow. I'm gonna go get this removed. Pick this out. And what you have to do is, again, use the screw here, remove that right here. And you're gonna switch it to the left side again, right here. And you're gonna put it back in. And you're gonna switch it here to the left. See right here, you're gonna install it right there. The reason why, because I'm gonna be installing the Samsung SSD. This has got 500 gig, this is NVMe. Oh, so this is empty, hold on, let me get the right box. Okay, so this one is empty, okay. <laughs> okay, let me get this one, must be this one. It's the same one, okay. Installed. Now I'm gonna install the screw back. And because the guys I forgot to tell you is you cannot use a regular Phillips head to install it. So this is a little bit smaller one. If you don't have this one, then you just have to buy. Uh, you just have to probably buy the Stanley. They sell this on Amazon. I'll put in the description the model number of the screws. You can just get this because be a lot easier. I'm just gonna use my left hand so you guys can see. So that's installed. Now what I will do is, we're gonna install the video card. I'm gonna show you guys what kind of video cards you can use. So I got a total of three different types. You see that? Look at this. Uh, you can use a GT1030. Uh, this is the MD Radeon guys, uh, RX 550, but they only sell them, I think you can buy them used or new ones, but they usually come from a Dell. This is RX 550, four gigs. And also this last one, little puppy. Uh, this one is uh, NVIDIA Quadro K1200, pretty good video card, but you have to make sure you get a full high bracket. 
on this ones because the, the mini tower is using a full full high bracket. Yeah, those are pretty good video cards. will work uh, with this system with the 200 watt power supply. It runs really smooth, no problems. So I'm gonna use uh, probably the GT1030 because I think it's the only new video card you can probably get probably through Amazon. But I'm putting the link in the description that the K1200 also available. Because this K1200 also supports uh, up to four monitors. It's pretty cool, I like it. So I'm gonna leave this on and what I have to do is remove this little metal piece and you will need a pliers. So the, the bracket in here looks like installed here, you cannot remove with your hand. So you need to use pliers like this and remove it gently. I probably need to use my left hand so you guys can see. Oh, okay, so you go like this and gently have to go like that and remove it. And you're gonna remove the second one, not the first one, because the first one is a PCI Express times one slot. And the bottom one is the blue one, PCI Express times 16, the blue one we install. And make sure uh, you have a full bracket, full high bracket installed on the video card. Okay, so it looks like, okay, we removed the brown bracket. Okay, huh, let me see it, okay. So this is the one it's supposed to be removed because I thought that one, okay, because the camera's right in front of me, couldn't see it. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna remove the other one then. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, so this one is removable, and you're gonna put that on the top, and install the video card. video card is installed you guys can look at the system again closely now what I'll do is uh, since when you install it guys a rear system fan make sure you do not put this on you can be off like that It'll be perfect it runs well smooth it's gonna be airflow so guys, I'm gonna put this uh, in and be the last part. I forgot. Okay, so guys, be the. Also, this is the. I got it through Amazon. I, I could remember. So this is the USB Wi-Fi adapter. You guys can also use, but this already has one in here. The wireless right here installed. But if you don't have a U, the wireless installed, you can buy this also. USB wireless adapter. But I'm not gonna install it because this already has in it. Has one installed inside. So you guys put the second panel back on, you guys can see the back, show you. So the way you're gonna install it here, guys, the side cover panel is right here. Only one way you can install the side cover panel. Uh, it's gonna be like right here in the corner, that's the way you're only gonna install it. Let me try to wipe this off, okay, so. You see right there, that's the only line, that's the only way you can install it. Because uh, what if I go like this, you can't do it, or like that. You can't do it only one way. Just like with that line is right here. Just look at the back side. And here's the video card, it's installed. It's got a one HDMI port. One, this is display port and one HDMI port. So guys, this will be the end of the video. I'll make the separate video for the teardown and reassembly. That's gonna be Guys, be at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.